Hi, I'm Crystal. Today's project is a sea-themed card. Something about summer just says uh, seashore to me. And I'm starting out stamping um, in my stamp platform. This particular stamp platform is no longer available in the United States. Um, I'm going to link below to some currently available alternatives, as well as a blog post where I cover uh, everything that's on the market right now, as well as link to a DIY version. Um, I do think that a, a stamping platform makes stamping much easier. Um, maybe it's just because I'm a bad stamper, but when I use an acrylic block, I tend to make a lot of mistakes. Anyway, I'm starting out by stamping my waves um, in blue ink on some blue paper. And once I've got the waves finished, I'm going to go on to um, build the sand. And I'm building the sand with some beige cardstock, and I'm just going to splatter that cardstock with a little bit of brown ink, a little bit of shimmery white acrylic paint, a little bit of uh, later add, a little bit of black ink, and I'm just going to splatter that over the um, beige cardstock so that I've got some texture on my sand. So this is the um, splat box that I use. It's just an Amazon box with the flaps cut off and some paper in the bottom. And then I've got my um, ink watered down on my foam plate, my brush here that I'm splattering all over the cardstock. So I didn't really need to do four pieces, but I will just set the excess aside in my opportunity box for another project. So after I've got the sand and the waves ready, um, I decided I needed some waves on my sand. So I've torn off a piece of that um, splattered cardstock, and I'm lining it up with the stamp that is already in my stamp positioner, and just um, using a little bit of tape to hold it in that kind of odd position um, and picking up the cardstock with the back of the stamp platform. So I'm going to stamp that in brown. I, I debated between brown and blue for the waves on the sand, but in the end I went with the brown. Um, it's kind of a subtle effect, so you'll have to look at the finished card and let me know if you think that was worthwhile at all. But I, I did put the waves on the sand. And so once I've got some sand and I've got some waves, then um, the other element to this card is some uh, sea creatures. So that those are the die cuts that are a little bit off to the left. Now for the second um, piece of sand, because I did make three cards, I had to guess a little bit about where to put the piece of cardstock. I guess I could have cleaned the stamp and actually done it correctly, but I didn't. Um, but the piece of sand paper is bigger than I need, so the fact that it uh, doesn't quite line up worked out okay. So now I'm taking my die cuts of, of seashells and I'm using a little bit of um, silver gel crayon and some water to apply a little bit of um, additional color to the die cuts just to give them a little bit more um, texture and depth. I don't know if this step was really strictly necessary either, but I, I did feel like it made the seashells look just a little bit more um, realistic and just a little bit shimmery. So um, the, water, the water is not too much for this um, cardstock, which is not meant for, for watercolor or anything like that. It's just regular cardstock. I did try the die cuts and shimmery cardstock, but the shimmery cardstock was too heavy to get the embossing effect of these embossing die cuts. So if you've got a, a seashell set, you might try several different variations to see what works for you. So now that I've got my seashells kind of decorated up a little bit, I will set those aside to dry. And I need a sentiment for my card, and these are going to be thank you cards. So I've gone over to my die cut machine, and I have cut out the word thanks. And I've left it in the backing cardstock. I think that any time you're going to do something to a die cut, it, it's really easier if it's still in the backing cardstock. So you can see what you think. I mean, you just watched me work with those seashells. Now I'm working with the words. I really thought working with the words still in the backing cardstock was easier than working with those shells loose, um, but I guess to each their own. The The watercolor that I'm using to um, make my my sentiment a little shimmery is the um, Kuretake Gansai Tambay Starry Colors um, six pan set. I really like this set. Um, Amy Raisavi of Prairie Paper and Ink uses it a lot as well, and I think a lot of crafters do. It's beautiful, beautiful watercolor. So once I make the, um, the, the beige sentiments a little shimmery to match my seashells, I cut a couple of extra words so I could layer them up. 
cardboards are so fiddly I don't ever want to try foam tape on them and I'm just going to use a little glue to make the the plain die cuts layer up and then I will put my shimmery die cuts on top once they're um, if not completely dry at least drier so if you're going to layer up words of course you have to layer them up and then you have to shimmy them into place just a little bit so I'm shimmying that word into place so that all the letters line up then I'll do that a couple more times for my, for my multiple cards and then I will um, attach my sand to the um, beach scene. Um, anytime that you're gluing a larger piece of paper to a smaller piece of paper you want to put the glue on the smaller piece of paper. That keeps you from having a bunch of glue on the overhanging edges. So now that my shimmery words are dry I'm going to pop them out and layer them on top of the plain die cuts so that I will have shimmery sentiments. Here again, I probably could have used shimmery cardstock for this, but well, I had beige, so beige is what happened. Sh just shimmying that into place, now I'm going to cut off the overhanging sand from my little uh, beach scene. Just cutting off the overhanging pieces, and this is where I'm glad that there's no glue on that part of the sand. And once I've done that to all the card fronts, I'm going to assign my seashells to the different card fronts and uh, make sure that I like the placement of all of them. I don't have quite a, <clears throat> an identical group of seashells um, for each one of these, so I need to decide which ones are going to go with which ones. So I, I thought that the seashells really needed a little bit of foam tape. And for once, I remember to get out my non-stick scissors. Uh, you can certainly use regular scissors on foam tape, but uh, it does leave the scissors kind of sticky. And I make sure there's no foam overhanging the, the edge of the sticker. And I'm going to glue the, the fiddliest shell down flat and pop all the others up with that little bit of Arteza foam tape. Um, <clears throat> so I guess I could have used a little foam on this fiddly shell too, but I thought that the spiky part of that shell was going to be a problem. I do like the fine tip glue bottle for these these small words. Um, I think that the fine tip is probably more important than the glue itself. So I also frequently use needle nose um, bottles filled with Elmer's glue and in fact this Barely Arts bottle probably is all Elmer's at this point. It's kind of like eggnog after you've refilled the carton with rum a couple times. Um, there's not so much nog left at that point. So I'm going to peel off the backing on the foam tape and I'm going to layer up my seashells and that is pretty much the end of this um, thank you card. So I certainly enjoyed making it and I hope that you've picked up some tip in this process that will help you going forward. Um, I'm certainly thinking about the beach this time of year and I, I kind of wish I was there instead of crafting indoors but it is awfully hot, so maybe not. Um, but I thank you for joining me today. Hope you have a good one. Thanks.